There are some people who have all the cash in the world. Who is that has all the cash and is living large? Swizz Lux, all things luxurious living. If you're new here to the channel, welcome to the channel. Please consider liking and subscribing for more great content. Today we are talking about the 10 most highest paying jobs. Let's begin. Number one, anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologists are the physicians responsible for administering general or regional anesthesia which allows surgeons and other physicians to complete invasive procedures with little to no discomfort to the patient. Anesthesiologists also closely monitor a patient's vital signs and critical life functions before, during, and after a surgery, making rapid decisions on limited data when required. To say that this profession is stressful is an understatement. This job comes in at a medium salary of $208,000. Number two, surgeon. Surgeons operate on patients who suffer from injuries, diseases, or deformities. These professionals can train toward becoming general surgeons or they can choose a specialization such as orthopedic, neurological, cardiovascular, or plastic surgery. This job also comes in at a medium salary of $208,000. Number three, oral and maxillofacial surgeon. Oral and maxillofacial surgeons perform surgeries on the face, mouth, and jaw. These professionals are dentists, with at least four years of additional surgery training so they can do everything from treating facial traumas to fixing cleft lips. They can diagnose and treat patients with head, neck, and oral cancers. They can even administer anesthesia and perform cosmetic surgeries such as facelifts. And even though their specialty is specific, the technology used to treat and operate on the face, mouth, and jaw is constantly evolving. This job comes in at a medium salary of $208,000. Number four, OBGYN. OBGYNs bring new life into the world and care for the spectrum of women's reproductive health. OBGYN is the surgical field that deals in childbirth and the field of medicine concerning with women's health, especially reproductive health. OBGYNs see patients in physicians' for offices for routine well women exams, which includes contraceptive management and HPV screenings. Their median salary comes in at $208,000. Number five, orthodontists. Orthodontists are dental specialists who concentrate on fixing ir irregularities in teeth and jaws. They straighten teeth and help correct problems such as overbites and underbites. If you've ever had braces or retainer to straighten your teeth, you can thank your orthodontist for creating a corrective treatment plan specifically for your needs. Their median salary also comes in at $208,000. Number 6. Prosthodontist Prosthodontists are dental specialists who restore or replace teeth to improve the function of your mouth or look of your smile. They treat patients. They treat patients who have missing teeth, who have trouble with their bite, or they just don't like their smile. They also help cancer patients who have trouble eating, communicating, or even kissing after treatments. Their salary comes in at two hundred and eight thousand dollars. Number seven, a psychiatrist. Psychiatrists are physicians who diagnose, treat and work to prevent disorders relating to the mind and mental health. Having undergone medical school and psychiatry residency programs, these physicians and professionals are required to understand the complex relationships between ailments of the mind and the body. They are also trained to evaluate the entire spectrum of a patient's health, make a diagnosis, and design a treatment plan. Their median salary comes in at $208,000. Number eight, a physician. They're the people we call when the contractions come every five minutes. We rush to them for broken arms and make appointments when we find irregular freckles. We come to them with coughs and colds, and when we suspect that mom might lose her memory or that dad's heart is working too hard, they overall do everything. They're OBGYNs, ER doctors, dermatologists, primary care providers, neurologists, and cardiologists. Their median salary comes in at $206,500. Number nine, pediatrician. Pediatricians are doctors concerned with the physical, emotional, and social well-being of children from infancy to young adulthood. Although it is a specialty in, in itself, pediatrics also has multitudinous subspecialties ranging from neonatology, oncology, and he hematology to developmental behavioral pediatrics and psychiatry. Those who choose to be pediatricians have to love being around children and advocating for children's issues. Their median salary comes at 175310 Number 10, nurse anesthetist. Nurse anesthetists can use a number of intravenous drugs and inhaled gases to administer general or regional anesthesia, so surgeons and other physicians can complete procedures with little to no discomfort to the patient 
Modern anesthesia has come a long way from the chloroform administered by the first nurse and anesthetist in the Civil War. Anesthesia is safer today than it's ever been, says Frank Grabazzi, a certified registered nurse anesthetist and executive director of the Council Accreditation of Nurse Anesthesia Educational Programs. Their median salary comes in at $147,790. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.